Hello everyone, my name is C. Nanners, and today we're playing some Team Deathmatch on Afghan. So I want to go ahead and upload this video because there's a couple things I want to talk about, and I want to share with you guys my experience with multiplayer in the last couple days. Um, it's been kind of a strange uh, excitement slash frustration uh, effect that's taken place, and right now I have the, uh, what I like to refer to as the Dead Zebra camouflage. <laughs> And I'm still in the process of unlocking things, and uh, I mean, I can't really for for sure say what's the best weapon to equip and, uh, you know, perks and what have you, but I do know that in the last couple days I've had a lot of success with the heartbeat sensor. Um, for whatever reason, I can't really do without it. Um, I, I think that definitely uh, it's kind of become my crutch, and it's, I mean, I... I I think it's kind of, th this game, for whatever reason, I, d I don't know what happened between COD 4 and World at War, but I don't know if you guys have experienced the same thing, but I have run into so much camping in this game, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm a pretty defensive player, so I shouldn't complain too much, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky, I don't know if it's just Team Deathmatch, but it seems like everyone is, like, hyper... Uh, defensive and in a, in a, it's almost like you, you walk in a room and, and chances are there's a guy sitting in a corner and for whatever reason this game tends to I mean I know it sounds kind of negative but bring out the worst in people <laughs> I've I mean I don't really get frustrated when it comes to uh, any of the Call of Duty games but this game just I mean wow I've had a very difficult time kind of keeping it together but I mean, I don't know, I think it'll take definitely uh, take a bit to get used to, and uh, it definitely reminds me of that. This entire game reminds me of uh, Beaver Creek from uh, Halo 3 in that it's kind of a sort of Mexican standoff situation where whenever you play Deathmatch, the two teams tend to pick a side of the map and they don't really move around too much, and it can be extremely frustrating. And I don't know if it's just me, like I said, I don't know if it's just Deathmatch, but uh, I mean, I think that it's definitely going to take some getting used to. Um, one big thing that I can note is be extremely patient when playing this game because if you're not, you'll be punished royally. <laughs> and I've I've had many situations where I've tried to equip other guns and I've tried to you know approach different maps and in in a variety of ways and it's basically just punished me. And I think that if you're not patient, this game is going to abuse you and use you <laughs> and uh, definitely just. Don't run around too much, just take your time and, and pick your shots, because I don't know if this camping behavior is a result of people not knowing the maps, or if it's just this game that caters to it, but I've had a, a hell of a time trying to keep it together. And I mentioned in the last video that uh, the killstreaks were a little bit out of control, and after playing a little bit more, I realized that it's not as crazy as I once thought, and I mean, if you if you play smart, you can get some pretty good streaks going, but... For the most part, it's pretty tough to stay alive. I mean, when I played World War, it wasn't really a challenge in Call of Duty 4. I mean, it seemed pretty pretty easy. But this game, I mean, somebody so much as looks at you and you're pretty much dead. And I also noticed that the headset that I once used, I mean, I, was, I rested pretty heavily on using that headset back in the day. But this game, I mean, I, I can't really hear as many people walking around as I, I used to. And the fact that you can only adjust the game volume and not the actual... Uh, sound effects slash music is a little bit, you know, difficult to get used to because I used to be able to hear people running in a room and now it seems as though I can barely hear people and uh, this game, I guess, in general is just going to take a, a lot of time to get used to and uh, hopefully it will all kind of sort itself out and it all makes sense and I, I think these things take time and it definitely takes a while to get used to but I think that once... Uh, Everything is sorted out, it's going to be fun, and everyone's going to enjoy themselves, but uh, for the time being, let the uh, let the frustration commence. <laughs> but I don't want to be too negative, and I don't want to shed a, you know, a negative light on this game. I think that definitely, like I said, it's too early to tell whether or not this game is going to have some major flaws, or it's going to be uh, something that we're all going to be playing for a very long time. And, and in all fairness, I think regardless of whether or not these issues are too overpowering. We're all going to play this game, and we're all going to try our best to enjoy it, but uh, I mean, I think that for the uh, for the time being, my suggestion would be just kind of stick it out and, and try not to break your uh, 
break your Xbox. <laughs> um, my, I mean, the biggest thing I can say is is just take your time and be patient because um, camping is a pretty big issue in this game, and uh, you'll definitely notice that in, in probably a lot of future videos, I'll be playing extremely defensively, and even right here, I'm kind of waiting around to make sure that I get my AC-130 because my my Pavlo is up in the sky, dropping hate on the other team, and uh, I think that definitely this game is very similar to Halo 3 in that, or any of the Halo games, that the battle rifle is, is predominant, and it's definitely the gun to use, and I think that in this game, I mean, you're not going to see too many people running around with uh, akimbo and, and dual-wielding SMGs or pistols, because that'll get you killed, and uh, more often than not, somebody's waiting around a corner for you, and it's probably wise to Put on the old heartbeat sensor and take it easy because uh, if you if you run in, you're gonna get shot and definitely gonna get punished for it. But uh, this guy, for instance, waiting for me. But uh, <laughs> now I got my AC-130 and it's time to finish the game. And the last thing I want to talk about was the film contest that I mentioned in the last video. And I want to go ahead and thank you guys for all the people who have visited the site and voted for my film. But uh, unfortunately, I'm I'm not doing so hot. I'm in sixth place right now, and if you guys uh, could go ahead and register on that site and vote for my film, I would very much appreciate it. And uh, just so you know, the the voting phase of the contest is only open till midnight tonight. So if you could go ahead and give me your support, I would I would very much appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to leave your comments on this video in regards to what your feelings are about the multiplayer, the balance issues, the kill streaks, the guns, and uh, I really like to hear what you guys have to say. So other than that, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.